let's talk volume and frequency of arm training to build bigger uh, and stronger biceps and triceps. Caleb, let's talk. Let's start with the uh, the frequency okay. of arm training, and, and maybe you just use yourself as an example as a bodybuilder, right? Who it, you've already identified, you feel like your arms are and know from mm. from previous experience. Definitely the weakest. They are weak, <laughs> weaker body part. And again, most people be looking at Caleb going, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I mean, if I would die to have arms like that, but <laughs> you're being judged based on size right. uh, and symmetry, right. and you know that your your arms have lagged. They're the weak link. They're the weak link in in moving to the next level or getting that that trophy or whatever the thing is. Correct. So. As a bodybuilder who's focused on really building those arms, talk about your arm training program and kind of what it looks like now. Sure. Um, well, I, I follow a like a push lower pull type of a split, and it I I don't want to go too in depth here, but I break that up into a nine day training week, and so I'll have each of those days a push, a lower, and a pull day um, twice throughout that nine day training week. Um, but I break it up into basically three little cycles. So. I had trained two days, take one day off, train two days, take one day off, train two days, take one day off, repeat the whole cycle. And over that period of time, I hit push, lower, rest, pull, push, rest, lower, pull, uh, rest, repeat. So by doing that, I'm able to train uh, biceps and triceps both three times, right? Each of those two day windows, um, I train them. Um, and so, so it's three times in a nine day training cycle. Three times in a nine day training cycle, yeah. Um, and I mean, you could... I know that doesn't apply to most people very well. They want like a seven day training week. So <laughs> I know that a lot of people's heads just probably exploded right yeah. now. What do you, <laughs> yeah. what do you, what? Okay. You don't, yeah, you There's don't. only seven days in <laughs> yeah. a week. Come on, yeah. dude, Every Monday is yeah. not chest, chest day. day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you could two to three times a week is probably ideal. Probably upwards of three for biceps, um, two for triceps. If you're doing a lot of pressing three, if you're not doing a ton of pressing Got because it. they're stronger muscles, they, they need a little more time to recover in general. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm not doing a, a lot of volume right now. I'm right now, at least, um, kind of generally advocating for, you know, train to failure on a regular basis or. Is that appropriate for you? It is it, yeah. a, a minimum of two reps in reserve, which I very rarely stop at. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm zero to one rep in reserve, um, which I'd call basically about failure. Um, and like two sets per exercise, really, maybe two sets um, for each biceps and triceps over the course of those, you know, two day windows. So what does that add up to like six ish um, mm -hmm. per week? Oh. Six total exercises. I, I, I'm sorry. Not, not correct. Six total. Well, or sorry, it's two. So I think what I heard you say, <laughs> let me see if I can explain it back and you tell me if I'm right. You got two exercises, two sets per exercise, right? So we're talking four total sets. Correct. Yes, exactly. Four total sets for biceps, biceps, triceps, and four total sets for triceps. About, or, about. Yeah, okay. I mean, so it, it's eight sets of arms. Twelve, uh, really, because it's three times over that. But that's over nine gotcha. days. Yeah. So I mean, the general recommendation for any muscle group is like eight to twelve sets per week, right? Mm -hmm. Working sets per week. Working sets means hard sets taken to or very close to failure. Mm -hmm. Warm ups are not working sets. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's, I'm basically following that guideline. Yeah, gotcha. So I think that's that's different than what we typically see, Jeff. I mean, Absolutely. what do you generally see people doing that are trying to build bigger arms? I mean, they have whole arm days. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, they're doing 20 sets for arms that day. You know, 10 sets of biceps, 15 sets of biceps, doing every type of curl. Where, as Caleb's doing, you know, he's like, oh, there are four, four, that's, Four sets. They're, yeah, they're losing their minds on the other end. Well, it's no wonder your arms aren't growing. Yeah, cool. well, because <laughs> it's so he's so efficient, but it's also the frequency component, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm if I am sore for seven days, I'm sorry, you're not growing for seven days. Protein synthesis, and especially in a trained athlete, you have a one to three day window. Okay, mm -hmm. as you get more trained, you start getting down to the one day, right, and so on. So if I'm sore for four or five days on a muscle, I'm not growing. I'm going into recovery. Right. And I don't adapt when I'm recovering. Right. I need to recover and then I adapt. So going and doing what Caleb's doing is more of a frequent so I can recover quicker. I can adapt and then I can get back and hit it onto again. The, yeah, and grow. That's the whole point of what we're trying to do is recover and get back in the fucking gym. Exactly. So if I if I look at a, a training week, what I'm thinking is how many doses of stimulus can I give myself throughout mm -hmm. that training week and recover from yes. each time that yes. the last part of that being the most important yes. part, recovering how time. much yes. stimulus can I give myself? 
mm-hmm. and recover from. Right. So that I can benefit from both. Correct. Because, yeah. I mean, just, just like how anything is, we're, we're working with a fitness fatigue model, right? And so we train and we generate some fatigue. Um, we also stimulate growth, but the fatigue makes us really weaker. We can't produce as much mm-hmm. force when we're fatigued. Um, and as time goes on, we recover back to our baseline. And as time goes on beyond that, we'll recover a little bit above baseline. So that's where the actual growth happens, right? But if I wait the whole rest of the week, I mean, that happens, like Jeff said, maybe over a course of two days, two, three days. If I wait the rest of the, you know, four or five days of the week, it's going to start dropping back down because there's no stimulus to, you know, tell my body to either keep it or continue trying to build upon that. Right. So I've found that, you know, about three days in between each of those arm training sessions is enough time for me to recover and uh, recover beyond baseline because my performance increases, you know, each session it's measured. I, yeah. I so measure, you, I'm, you I'm, measured I'm, it. So you're managing it. Exactly. Right. You got to track. So what about the, what about the kid who's obsessed right now with building bigger biceps and he's hitting his biceps every day? Stop. Well, <laughs> so what if he's not going to, what would you, what advice would you give him? All right, dude, if you're going to train your biceps every day, do it like this. What would you say? Um, number one, make sure your mechanics are really good so that you're getting the most you possibly fucking can out of each set. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because if you do that, you won't need so many fucking sets. Right. You won't you be won't, able to do them. You won't. Yeah, exactly. You won't want to train every yeah. day. Right. Yeah, there's exactly. a, there's a reason I only do two sets per exercise, per arm exercise when I'm training, you know, my arms, that's all I really need. Like my performance drops off so markedly after those two sets that those sets aren't very productive. They dig me deeper into the recovery, recovery hole. Dead. So yes. it takes me longer to recover and they are not stimulative enough because they're so below what I'm actually mm-hmm. able to do performance wise when I'm fresher. Um, so get really good at your mechanics so that you don't need to do so much and then only do one or two. If you're going to do right. every fucking day, like seven days, that's ridiculous. Okay. Let's say five. If right. you're really going to okay. do it. But every arm, time you go to the gym, every time the kid goes to the gym, he wants to train his arms. So get maybe one really good stimulative set mm-hmm. and then do the rest of your workout. Good. Yeah. And that's probably going to be better than doing like five to 10 sets of arms, yeah. like m- multiple fucking days a week. Yeah, it goes back to the original, the original talk about making sure you're choosing the right exercises mechanically from a loading perspective uh, to get the most out of it. Right. Yep. Perfect. No, that it makes a lot of sense. Um, and just finding the exercise that works the best for you, right? The biggest bang for your buck, right? I don't want to sit mm-hmm. there and do three different exercises. If like the preacher curl is the best for my biceps and it feels the best, I can activate it the best. I'm going to hit that and I'm going to get out right. and I'm going to train it more frequently. I'm going to eat more. What I found for myself is once I kind of got off volume and when I say volume training specifically is like, okay, I'm going to hit 20 sets in this, in mm-hmm. this workout mm-hmm. and more frequently with little touches, uh, I've gained copious more amounts of muscle, not even thinking about it. Right. Yep. Right. And because, because it goes, it goes back to the formula of making sure you're giving yourself enough stimulus and enough recovery so that you can benefit by both. Well, there's a reason what Jeff is talking about works so well too, is that let's say a typical, like a chest day you do, you have your one, you say you're bro, doing a bro split, right. And you have a chest day and you're not going to hit chest again for the rest of the week. So let's say you have like 15 sets per chest or for chest or even 10 sets for chest, right? Now you could equate that and you could have it, you know, where you're hitting your chest twice a week and have five sets per workout. Yep. And on paper, it's like, okay, the weekly volume is equated. Mm-hmm. And you know, the science people are saying it doesn't matter as long as weekly volume is equated and to a point they're right. But let's look at the performance on those 10 sets. The first five sets after the first five sets on your, that chest day, the second five sets, your performance is going to be, you know, dramatically Different. worse because yep. you're fatigued. Your chest is beat up already. Mm-hmm. If you wait like till three days later and hit those five sets, you've had time to recover, adapt a little bit. You're going to be able to perform better. You're going to get more out of it. Um, at the end of the day, output, you know, the, how much tension you're applying to the muscle, how many reps you're able to do, um, how close you're able to push to failure. These are the things that drive growth. And so if you can have five sets where the performance is a lot better, um, you're going to get a better result. Yeah. It just speaks to making sure you're, you're really paying attention to the detail. Uh, you're, you're, you've got a smart organized program and you're not trying to do too much until you have that part licked. Cause there's all kinds of other things we could be talking about. We could be talking about how to get more intensity and drive more impact in those, in sure. those, those again, 
only the two sets that you're doing through things like cluster sets or sets. things like drop sets or yeah. pause reps or things like that, which is a little bit more advanced. But and we've talked about this stuff before on other on, in, in our other talks or other videos. But uh, yeah, so the takeaways here are you know think about volume uh, and your frequency and uh, not trying to get bigger arms in one day a week yeah. right. at the same time, not trying to get bigger, stronger arms in five or seven days a week. Think about it. And the way Caleb, you described it is, is you're training them at least two times a week, right? In a nine day training cycle, the way that that basically works out every three days, you're, you're, you're hitting them twice a week, but you're doing it in a very organized, measured and uh, calculated fashion. Exactly. Yep. Things like intensifiers, drop sets, cluster sets, and all that, and and then changing up your volume and frequency. Um, those are great things, and they're worth learning about. But that's like like riding the Tour de France when you are riding a tricycle right yeah, now. Yeah. You know, get the basics down because if your sets aren't stimulative, it doesn't matter what fucking advanced concepts you throw on top of that. You're still not going to get very good returns. Yeah, I call that trying to do black belt shit when you're still a white belt. That's <laughs> a better analogy than mine. <laughs> <laughs>